Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So, something incredibly instructive happened on this month's episode of Mix Critique. Mix Critique is the live stream that my good friend and colleague Joe Gilder and I are doing on a monthly basis every second Wednesday of the month. And what we do is we listen to your mixes, your mix submissions and critique them live on stream together with our lovely community. If you haven't checked out these live streams or any of the other offerings, definitely check out Studio One Plus. But during one of our critiques, listening to one of the submissions that we got, Joe picked up on something incredibly interesting that was potentially fatal for the mix. Take a look. Um, my one piece, okay, this was kind of fun. So I switched to mono at the beginning hmm. on my end. Interesting. And it was really interesting. If you play the intro, yeah. the intro guitar is this cool stereo thing. And I have my, uh, my spidey senses went off. I have a sneaky suspicion <laughs> that this guitar was duplicated panned left and right and either the phase was flipped or it was delayed in time just a little bit just enough to make it feel stereo but to actually cause phase issues listen to it in like play it for a second and then flip flip to mono and okay. the guitar almost the low end on the guitar disappears let's the do it the guitar doesn't disappear entirely you tell me when go ahead whoa yo the whole instrument disappeared. There was, there was all this boom, boom, like the low notes, they're gone when you listen in mono. When the whole beat comes in, same thing, it's like the guitar disappears. It's only like, it's like the high strings remain and the low strings went away. Wow. So whatever you did, whoever is this, this is Ben. Ben, if you did something to make it more stereo, undo that because you broke it. All right. So what did we just see? Let's unpack that for a moment. What Joe was pointing out here was a fatal flaw in the stereo field of this mix, creating problems that you wouldn't notice on your classic stereo system, like two speakers or stereo headphones even, but that you would definitely notice when you would monitor in mono. And you might think that's not so relevant anymore. I mean, stereo has been around for so long. Why is mono compatibility still a thing? Well, that's because these little speakers here are making a massive comeback, right? They're portable, they're punchy, they have good sound, but they're mono. And many of your listeners are using these types of devices to listen to the mixes you are going to publish on streaming platforms. So you want to make sure that it sounds good on all devices, including these ones, right? So you have to check for mono compatibility. And that brings us very nicely to today's topic, which is the face meter in Studio One and how to read it. So the face meter is an audio effect that you got to find either on the song page or here on the project page. This is the mastering environment. You can get to the project page in case you're wondering when you click on new and then you select master and release here on the start page. But the face meter is a plugin that's available as an insert effect in all views. So now you know where to find it. It's going to be on a Personas native plugins and then you go to the face meter under P right here. And then you just drag that into your project. I've already done so, as you can see. And when you open it up, it looks like this. And if you've never seen a face meter before, this can look a little bit foreign to you, which is why it's so great that in Studio One, you can just hit F1 on your keyboard and look at that. The manual is opening up at exactly the thing that you're currently looking at. So the face meter is the chapter in the manual that was opened because I currently have the face meter in focus. If I had the project page in focus instead, let me just show you this by closing the face meter, then I would get the project page chapter instead. So this is like a super amazing interactive help that always gets you exactly to the chapter that you're currently looking for. And this gives you like a short introduction into what a face meter is. Basically, the face meter is helpful when checking stereo playback issues and mono compatibility so that your mix works on all kinds of systems, not just on stereo systems, but also on these one-way Bluetooth speakers, for example. So now that we know what the face meter does, let's look at how to use it. And for that, I just hit play somewhere here in the middle of the song. Now I got your attention. And the face meter is essentially divided into two parts. We have the Ghaniya meter, that's here the majority of the top section, where we can see the distribution of amplitudes across the stereo field. The signals that are here on the vertical are essentially mono signals, and the further they travel here to the sides, the more stereo content they have. And the part that's particularly interesting to read is this tiny, narrow correlation meter down here. 
This goes either into the positive value, plus one, into the negative, minus one, or it's right in the middle at zero. And it moves along with the music, as you can see. Plus one would mean the signal is entirely mono. Minus one means we have a reverse phase mono signal that would cancel out in stereo. And zero would mean we have a full difference between left and right speaker, a true stereo or dual mono signal. So the correlation meter, the critical little strip at the bottom of the phase meter, shows the average amount of in-phase and out-of-phase signal and is a clear indicator that something might be wrong in your mix. Especially when it's going from the zero into the negative variety to the left. Of course, you also don't want it all the way to the right because that means that you don't really have a stereo mix and that it sounds very narrow. But going into the left is arguably even worse because then you might actually lose entire bass frequencies or instruments when you're suddenly in mono. And that's exactly what happened at the beginning of this piece. So let me play this to you in stereo. And you can see the face meter is clearly indicating here a negative value in the correlation, meaning there's out of face audio signals. And everything from the verse onward is fine, but something is happening here in the intro that is definitely a red flag. And you can especially confirm that with your ears once you've spotted it visually by simply toggling your output to mono, like so. <laughs> or you can also do it from the transport bar. And you can hear this entire instrument's disappearing. Like the lead electric guitar is just gone. It's just completely gone, right? And that should not happen. So the face meter can really raise awareness to these critical issues that might miss your attention. And hopefully that's gonna help you in your next mix. Thank you for watching.